Are you having trouble with Mesh-tastic? Are your messages not being sent or being delivered intermittently? Are trace routes not working? Are you struggling to receive messages? If so, don't worry, here's a few tips to help you out. But first, we need to understand why this is happening, and the simple answer is, we've made it too big. Meshtastic is congested, especially here in the northwest and down in London and the surrounding counties. Congestion is what causes these common issues. You have to remember that even when switching to different channels, in inverted commas, we're still all using one frequency. There's about 250 reachable stations from my home. Imagine 250 people all trying to talk on the same radio frequency using their voice at the same time. You'd have trouble hearing a clear transmission from anyone, and this is basically what's happening. And there is a few things we can do about this. So, the first point goes against what I said in my original Meshtastic video about pings or beacons, but 650,000 views and about 250 nodes later, the level of activity has changed. A ping or beacon is a data packet that's sent out to announce your node's presence. The most recent pings appear at the top of your node list. If you're pinging every minute or every couple of minutes, you're likely to be causing unnecessary congestion. The best thing to do is change your ping rate to something like every 30 minutes, or leave it at the default setting of every 5 hours. Remember, if traffic passes through your node, it'll appear as active anyway, so you're still technically announcing your presence. If everyone reduces their ping interval, we can free up a lot of space on the frequency for messages to pass through, and despite not pinging as much, you'll still always be active as long as your node's on. Interestingly, the iPhone app recently changed to allow a minimum of one hour between beacons. The next point is hops. When you send a message or beacon, you're working through nodes to reach a destination. If you have your hops set to the max number of seven, you're potentially hopping through seven, causing those seven nodes to create traffic on the frequency. And if you're in an area that's busy and full of lots of nodes, you're going to tout the frequency. This is because every node you work through replies with a packet of data. Here in the northwest, we have a hell of a lot of stations on, so three, or at a push a maximum of four, is more than enough hops. Your node will still find the most effective route to pass traffic through, and you won't see any detrimental effect to your reach. I have mine set to three, and I'm hitting nodes almost 70 kilometers away from home. This is because your node will automatically look for another node with a really low RSSI, and try to work through that first. RSSI isn't a reflection of range as such, but often nodes with a low RSSI may be further away. Otherwise, if you had 10 nodes between you and a reachable station, the hops will be used on those before the signal gets to its intended recipient, if that makes sense. Next is trace route. It's great to see where your signal is passing through to reach its destination, but constantly hitting trace route is causing every node involved in that trace route to pass traffic on the frequency, causing congestion. It's a good idea to keep the trace route function for special circumstances, like a long range contact you've noticed. Constantly spamming this function when you're part of a large mesh network is pointless and ties up the frequency. Of course, the whole idea of Meshtastic is to send messages and make contacts, but I see people spamming the long fast channel with the same repeated message every minute. This causes huge congestion, just wait for it to be delivered. You've got every node that's receiving your message, and every node involved in the route it took, sending confirmation packets every time you repeat the same message. If you look at your node, you'll see a value known as chutil, and a percentage. This is the total amount of channel utilisation. As more messages and traffic occurs on the mesh, this value will increase. The higher this number, the more congested the channel is. Under 20 to 25% indicates a good level of traffic, meaning you have a higher chance of your messages being delivered. Late 20s into 30 and above, and especially above 50% is terrible. At these levels, you'll struggle to pass traffic properly. I deliberately sent a few messages one after the other, and did a couple of trace routes to prove the point of this video to you. When the value is in the early 20s or below, you know there's a good likelihood your message will deliver. So, that's a few simple steps to reduce congestion on Meshtastic, and if everyone followed these points, you'd notice a considerably higher success rate.